guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. My name is Michaela. I'm a 21 year old soon to be foster mom making videos about motherhood, foster care, cooking, cleaning, hauls, lifestyle, all that good stuff. You should definitely hit the subscribe button if you're new. We have lots of fun here on my channel. Um, we are a growing family. Um, today's video is a Q&A. Um, I got all these questions from people on my social media, so if you don't follow me there, you should definitely do that. It's always linked in the description box below. I post lots of polls and ask questions of what, what I should post, when I should post them, and in this case, questions you guys had about foster care. So this is probably going to be a long video, so I'm just going to hop right into this. I have 10 questions for you that you guys sent me. Number one, whose idea was it to foster mine or my husband's? It was mine. Uh, we struggled with infertility with, for what felt like a really long time, and my heart just wasn't in it anymore, so we decided to go another route. We called up our um, local um, Child Protective Services office, and they got us in touch with who is now our social worker and started the whole process. So it was really pretty easy to get going. Um, number two, how long did it take? We started our initial training in June and is now October and we are still waiting for our final approval. Probably about two more weeks um, waiting on that. Um, but we had an extra month because we were waiting for my 21st birthday. So um, a lot of people in our classes already have placements. So that's, so I'd say roughly three to four months in our little small town in Kentucky or in this general area. Number three, who do we go through? Um, we went through the state. We did not go through a private agency. That was not for any particular reason. I just didn't even know how to get in touch with a private agency. I didn't understand the difference. So I just contacted the social services office. It just, just seemed rational to me, and that's what we went with. I didn't even learn the differences until we were in class. And if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about those differences and what which route might be best for you, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to do that video for you guys. Um... Number four, best and worst part so far. The best part has definitely been setting up the nursery. I had a lot of fun shopping, as always, and decorating that. Um, I love that kind of thing, so it was really fun for me. The worst part has definitely been waiting. Like I said, we had an extra month wait time than the rest of people in our class, um, but now we're still waiting for approval, which is horrible. Every day is just dragging, so, um, but we're hanging in there but definitely waiting. Um, how many kids do you want in your home at a time? We are only willing to accept two. We think it's really important for them each to have their own bedroom. It just feels like, you know, a space that they can have for their own. A lot of them might not have had that before, so it's just really important to us. But we are new parents. We have, we have no biological children, so um, we are only accepting one at first just because, you know, we've we're gonna get our feet wet before we jump in so um but if something like twins presented itself I don't think we would pass on that um number six what are we most nervous about um um for me um I don't really look forward to it's not that I don't look forward to but I'm really nervous about communicating with the bio parents just because you know they're upset and they're angry and a lot of times they take that on on the foster parent and um I mean it's understandable but I just really get my feelings hurt really easy so I'm not really looking forward to that um just because I am so sensitive so but I'm nervous about it, but I'm also hopeful that, you know, we can be helpful to the bio parents as well as the kid. Um, number seven, do we get paid? Um, we get what is called a per diem from the state. Um, there, in my opinion, is no money in foster care. If that's why you're getting into it, I would highly, highly discourage you from doing that because there's the state pays you for the child's needs and a lot of times there's there's some money out of your pocket from what I hear um, so we do not have a placement yet so I can't really speak to that but from what I hear from all of our foster parent friends and our training that is the case that they it's just there to meet their needs and um, there's not really anything left over um, Number eight, what is the process of becoming licensed like? For us, it was the initial phone call, setting up um, our, figuring out which uh, training schedule we could follow. Then we had a initial meeting to fill out paperwork and get background checked. Then we had um, three days of classy, classes, training. We had online training after that. 
And then we had three home studies. The first was a quick walkthrough of the house and paperwork. I'm sorry, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> and um, then the second one was a per very personal and in-depth interview um, between both for both me and my husband, and then us together. And then the third one was um, walking through the house, going through what is called the safety checklist. And um, if you haven't seen that before, that video, I'll link it down below. Um, it's everything that in Kentucky we had to have in our home to be approved. So, um, and she had to see everything and take pictures. So that one was probably a real, the quickest um, home visit. And then now we are just waiting. So, and then after, after the, they get our final approval, we will sign a contract and then our home will be open for placements. But that's what it's like. Number nine, do you have to be married? No, you don't. Oh, and do you have to own your own home? No, you do not have to own your home, own home and you do not have to be married. You do have to be able to provide for that child because you pay for a lot of their costs up front and then the state somewhat, you know, kind of reimburses you for that. Um, so you do have to be able to provide and you have to show that, but you don't have to own your own home. And we, lots of single people do it. There were two people that were single in our training, so it's common. And if you feel called to foster care, whether you are single or married or renting or owning, it doesn't matter. You definitely should check into it. Um, there's such a need for foster parents. So, and then the last question is that we get this all the time is, how do you do it? Aren't you scared? Well, we do not have a placement yet. So, um, but I can assume that it's like, how do you think you're going to do it? Um, well, of course we are scared of, um, you know, getting really attached and, and then having to send them back with their parents. But that is the whole point of foster care, um, to reunify them with their birth parents when the parents have worked hard to get their lives straight and be able to get their children back. Um, but I do know that it's not a perfect system and sometimes children go to people or parents that you don't think are quite ready. And of course we are nervous about that, but it is completely out of our control. Our job is to solely love this child, to provide for their needs, and just send them back to mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever, better than they came. And even if they're just with us for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, they were loved and taken care of. So we will get attached. That is a given. We, I already feel love for these kids even though we don't even have any in our home yet so of course we're scared to get our hearts broke but that's what we're signing up for and that's what these kids need they need attachment they need love and that's what we're here for so yes we're going to get our hearts broke probably multiple times but these kids are so so worth it so that is how we're going to do it and that's how we're going to make it make it through is out of our control and all we have to do is trust and love these little kiddos so that is all the questions if you have any more questions let me know down in the comments um and if you found this help video helpful definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel but thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was helpful to you guys and uh, for those who don't know i do upload every single sunday i tried to get some in um during the week but that's not always the case but you can always count on a video sometime on sunday so again i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will see you in my next one bye